Hi. <laughs> so, I never thought this would be a video I'm making, which sounds stupid as shit, but it is. So, I just want to preface this entire video by saying like a lot of what I'm gonna say is jokey joke and then like there will be some serious do's and don'ts in here. But essentially, if you've clicked on this video, then I assume that you've read the title and it is about dating do's and don'ts. Um, more so about dating apps, but also I, it's funny because I only have experience with one dating app and I will never have experiences with any other dating apps. That makes it sound like it was a bad experience. It wasn't. I've just met enough people. <laughs> that sounds so bad. Anyways, so context, backstory. Um, I left a long-term relationship in February and my best friend like a month later was like download Bumble like as a joke like we'll just go we'll just see who's on it like we'll just see if like like as a jokey joke we'll just see like who's on it and I was like okay as a joke like let's just download it and like be bitches and judge people <laughs> and I ended up matching with <laughs> several people who one of which I ended up dating for a month and we stopped seeing each other because absolutely like made sense because we didn't have a lot in common but we're talking <laughs> leave me out of this it... don't judge me what are you judging me for hmm anyways then i met two other people who i am currently seeing they all they know about each other they know what's going on don't worry i'm not a whore i am a bit of a whore but i'm not a dickish whore like, they all know I'm being a bit of a whore, and they're all okay with it. And I would like to preface that any man speaking to me wants to be in a relationship with me, and I'm seriously, like, the only reason I'm, like, dating is... dating. I... <laughs> is because I ended up liking these people. Like, I didn't want to date. I didn't want to be dating. But I ended up meeting people that I liked that I know if I met them day to day, I would have had a crush on them. And considering I, I know people are gonna be like a month only after your long term year long, not year long, three years long relationship. That's like so quick. Yeah, it is quick. You know why? Because I mourned that relationship throughout the entire relationship. Throughout the entire thing I mourned it. So when it actually ended, when I finally walked away, I was just like, oh, cool. Because it was like, I mourned you, I grieved you. I don't need to do that again. I don't feel the need. I'm not sad, I'm relieved. So that's why it was so quick. <laughs> I'm dating two people at the moment. They are aware that I'm seeing them both. There are other men speaking to me, but I don't, you know i don't it's not it's not really a thing if i'm like like they fancy me but i don't i'm not dating them basically so i met most of these guys not all of them but most of them through bumble and i will say from every other app that i've heard of bumble seems to be the safest option just it just seems like it has like I met up with my friend the other day and she was we were talking about dating apps and she was like Bumble has people for you and it doesn't have people for me and we we have very two different tastes my taste in guys is like creative and want relationships and that kind of thing and her taste is like not the opposite but like manly men not manly men but like gym bros and pub goers and that kind of thing and that's there is a lot of that on bumble i just don't match with them but i think the other apps are more so like folk like those guys are more on there than the guys that i'm into and i also want to preface this by saying yes i am bisexual the reason i'm not saying girls is because all girls scare me <laughs> i'm so intimidated but trust me i've tried i've tried and 
The thing is, is I was also, again, speaking to my friend who is a lesbian in a relationship, long-term relationship. They live together and everything. They've been together for so long. And I was, she was on dating apps before. And I asked her, like, her experience with girls on dating apps. And she was like, girls on dating apps are so shit because they'll just be like, you're so pretty. And then, oh, you're so pretty too. And then that's where it ends. Or follow me on Instagram. And then they, you follow each other and you just never speak again. And it's, or like, they're just really dry texters or something. And I've had my fair share of male dry texters. Don't get me twist, don't get it wrong. But like, where is my food? I have tried to be with women in a way, but I will say if you download Bumble, I might sound like a judgmental prat, but hear me out. Most of the girls on there that I have come across are very much so Dan and Phil Tumblr 2012 era, okay? Like Snapchat filter with queer flag in the background and uh, I can't do it. I can't, I physically, I recoil. It's not you as a person, but it reminds me of when I was 12. So I physically can't do it. The odd few that have been normal have come underneath the other categories of dry textures. Some of them are proper weird that I've come across, just like odd oddballs, just weird people. Um, but most of them are just, hey, you're so pretty. And then it's like, you're so pretty. And then the conversation just dies there because you don't know when to go from there. Might be shit on my end because I'm not used to dating girls. I've been with women. I've dated girls. My first kiss was with a girl. My first kiss ever was with a girl. But anyways, I know I don't need to explain my sexuality or like explain myself, but I just wanted to give because I know that queer people will follow me and I wanted them to see like my experience with queer matches on dating apps as well and dating in general. But unfortunately this is going to be very heterosexual until the end now so that's that. <laughs> but um, so yeah let's just get into the do's and the don'ts mostly on apps because I feel like there aren't a lot of don'ts on first dates. I might be wrong, but all the first dates I've had have been really cute. So I, I don't know. <laughs> Do know what you want before going into it. I quite literally put on my Bumble profile, this is a joke, and then also put, but at the same time, I put relationship that I'm looking for a relationship. Cause as much as it's a joke, I don't wanna just sleep around and I don't wanna just date and have something casual. That's not who I am. So. Although I'm saying this is a joke, I'm taking it lightheartedly. Me as a human being, I want a relationship in life. So that's what I put. So know what you want going into it. And stick to it. Listen, listen to me. I'm gonna have a rant at you right now. Because many a times, many a times, have I swiped right on someone thinking they're cute and not even paid attention to something casual, pubs, gym, the you suck and you're boring and we don't have anything in common and we don't even want the same things or like Christian or like don't want kids like why don't swipe right on people like that I just end up airing all of them because I'm like oh I don't know why I did that like okay you're cute but that's it what's the point so stick to what you want, stick to what you want. Don't go any lower in life in general just because someone's fit, doesn't make sense. Now this one is kind of funny. I'll explain. I don't know whether this is a do or don't. I'm probably gonna say don't. Don't swipe right on someone who keeps having several accounts pop up. Now, you might think that their account is just in rotation. It's not, they have several different accounts. Now, the reason I say this is because I noticed two guys specifically, I could literally name them for you. One is called Bagdo, the other one, I forgot his fucking name, but he, he's got like a cap and it's not even on his head, right? And it's, anyways, they make loads of accounts 
to get as many matches as possible and I'm 99.9% .9 sure they're either catfishes or their intentions are bad. Now, I haven't swiped right on the one with the cat because he looks like he will murder me, but I did swipe right on back <laughs> back to back to kept switching his pictures out so i swiped right and i said are you a catfish and he freaked out and deleted his account <laughs> and he we keep having conversations every time he comes up i just do it for fun i try to find him i'm like oh my god back to reunited <laughs> and he's just batshit crazy it's just batshit crazy people um on there but i have fun with it like it's not that deep you know what i mean because I don't fall for catfish shit. I did that too much when I was younger. I'm quite sure that I dated like, dated, I was like 10. Like tw 12 different people online who were catfish. I was literally like a kid, so it doesn't count. <laughs> That's an embarrassing part of my childhood. We don't need to recount. So yeah, don't, don't, if you keep seeing someone, it's not cause it's rotation. It's not because it's a sign they're a catfish, leave it be. Don't do what I did and entertain it because although I had fun, I just don't want to encourage people to entertain it because it might end up being dangerous. So don't do that. I just want to say like, I did everything under the sun with this app. I even at some point paid for a week of like what they call super swipes because I just wanted to see what it would be like. It didn't do anything. It was only seven pounds, so it. I was like, all right. Was it worth it? No, not really. But I wanted to try it out because I thought it would be intriguing. I'm someone who, it's funny, I spoke about this in another video, but I have become way less sentimental than I was, which is a good thing because it means I'm less attached to everything. And I'm someone who just thrives on experiences. I don't want to just exist, I want to live. That's always been my motto. And so it's been interesting just having weird experiences and fun experiences. Do listen to them if they tell you you're, they're red flags immediately. This is for dating men and in general, but like on dating apps and everything, men will tell you they're red flags. Listen, just listen. They will tell you, just listen. And take it for what it is, immediately. I cannot tell you the amount of guys on Bumble, I will show you, I'll show you, I'll show you right now. The amount of guys on Bumble that I stopped talking to or they stopped talking to me. And Oh, that's the end. See, so deleted account. I either, un I didn't reply to, or they didn't reply to me because they were, sw the convo was so boring and they don't unmatch you because they want you there. They just want you there. They want you there as an option. And it's like, if any of you text me, I'm gonna flip my shit. <laughs> don't give out your social media to anyone you are not severely interested in or can't be friends with. There are several guys I gave my Instagram to who I thought I could be friends with this person even if this goes nowhere. And that was true for some and for others it really fucking wasn't and they're just creeps. So don't just give out your social media because one, it's gonna be fucking weird. No, it depends, okay, like one, if they're a creep, they're just gonna not stop being a creep. So you're gonna have to deal with that harassment every day, right? Two, say you're, f like it depends if you, like for the guys that I'm friends with that I met on Bumble, I feel like when I get into a relationship, it might be awkward on their end to see me in a relationship knowing that we met on a dating app. And that's me being an empath, like considering their feelings. And it's not a big deal, but if that is something that's gonna bother you, then don't give out your social media. Some people put it in their fucking profile. I would never do that. Although I do love when other people do because it means I can stalk them and see if they're really what I'm into. But I'm just, it's not for me. I don't come here and harass me, babes. 
stay where you are. I wouldn't touch you with a 10 foot pole after speaking to you. Do state, when you start speaking to someone and you like someone, do state everything that you need to state. It's kind of similar to the first thing that I said of like, it is similar to what I said of like, um, the first one of like sticking to your standards. But for me, what I mean is, if you're someone like me who doesn't usually have sex outside of a relationship, or with me, I don't mind having sex if I'm aware that person wants to be in a relationship with me because I can trust their motives and their, like, their intentions. But if you're someone similar to that, don't feel pressured into doing anything. And I know it's easier said than done for some, not for me, but for some. And I'll give you an example. There was one day that I was crying and I can't remember what I was fucking crying over. It wasn't a guy. I literally cannot remember why I was crying. I think I was just exhausted or something. And so I went on Bumble because I, this was like right at the beginning, because I had several guys I was talking to on there. I was like, I just need a distraction right now, which sounds dickish, but they do the exact same thing. So it's fine. Um, and I just was speaking to a bunch of guys and one of the guys gave me his Instagram. So I went onto his Instagram. I was like, okay, cool. Messaged him. He was like, how are you? I was like, oh, I'm, I'm, sad i'm like crying but it's fine and then he was like oh you wouldn't be sad if i was fucking you <laughs> when i tell you i screenshot everything <laughs> i remember his name his name was sam and he also looked like a blockhead the only reason i swiped right i think it was actually by accident but anyways ooh. this is whilst i was learning guys this is whilst i was learning and I was just like, some, like, that is, I've had some experiences like that, but they haven't ruined the dating experience for me because I've mostly met really lovely guys and had lovely experiences. So yeah, there is gonna be your fair share of fucking creeps and widows and things like that. But if you do what I did do and you do set your boundaries straight away of, I don't have sex, until such and such point. Um, I don't want to rush into a relationship. Such and such and such. I've This is what I've experienced in my past relationship. I'm not willing to experience it again. Do you understand? I want a relationship. I want kids. I want marriage. I want family. I most likely don't want to live in this country. Does that sound aligned with your future? It sounds like an interview, right? But when you're in the conversation, it's much more casual than that. But those are the things that I have said to every single man I've been on a date with. And it's been successful because it's either showing me, okay, this person is not for me and that's okay. And I had a lovely experience or it's showing me, okay, this person actually wants the same things as me and they want to be with me. So this is something I'm going to consider. So set those boundaries straight away. It might be hard, but just take, take the initiative whilst you can, because whilst they are a stranger, it's going to be easier than you flirted for weeks and you haven't set a single boundary. Now you're kind of attached and you don't know how to tell them that this is not what you want anymore kind of thing. So set those fucking boundaries. Okay. Thank you. I think other things I would say is look for when you are on someone's profile where they live. Um, Bumble has this feature with like, location if they're in your city it will show you them but if they don't live there it will still show you so if they live in the us or something it will show you their account even though they're just visiting so make sure you you know you're looking at where they live i've even used this abroad i was in france when i was using it um shockingly bad in france like shockingly bad <laughs> like just no one interesting which is so shocking. Use it abroad if you want, but if you don't want to do long distance, then don't do that because although it might be fun flirting and whatever, it ultimately goes nowhere and it's kind of pointless. Keep your eye out for verified and non-verified accounts. Mine's not verified because I don't plan to keep it any longer. I mean, I quite literally haven't used it in weeks. Um, like I said, I'm dating two people and I'm not involved. I'm not interested in being in the dating scene, so. I, I don't use it anymore, but 
So mine's not verified, but what I have noticed is like, if someone's account is verified, you feel a bit more relaxed just talking to them. And I think some non-verified accounts are like, scary. <laughs> it depends, it really, really depends. depends. If there is, this is one thing that I think I'm definitely gonna end it on. If there is one singular thing that bothers you about someone, it's most likely not gonna work. And it's so important to listen to your body and your mind and brain and heart and all of it at the same time and just cut it off ASAP. Now, the reason I say this is because if I see a picture of someone, I'm like, they're kind of cute, but this one thing bothers me or like in their interest and it's like, ugh. Just like, don't, don't even pursue it. If you're already like, eh, at the beginning, what's the fucking point? And I know you're gonna say, oh, but I haven't gotten to know them. Like, that's just, you know, initial judgment. And it's like, yeah, but that's important too. All the guys I am dating, I had really good initial first impressions with, not just with their profile, but like first conversations. And that was really important to all of our connections and like literally key to our relationships essentially so please be careful when you're dating i think these are things i wanted to cover things that weren't usually covered a bit more specific you know your personal do's and don'ts these are just my general do's and don'ts um have fun if that's what you're wanting to do uh yeah just be picky you're allowed to be picky you're choosing who to live a future with, most likely, so be as picky as you fucking want. You deserve to be picky, and men are gonna be picky with you. Not as picky as you will be with them, though, I will say that. So, thank you for joining me. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video.